horsepower that will rocket you to 100 km per hour in 2.5 seconds and to 300 km per hour in 16.7 seconds. German inspection officials recorded an average top speed of the original version at 408.47 km per hour during test sessions on Volkswagen Group's private test track on 19 April 2005. The Varen retired in 2015, after 450 models were built and sold to extremely prosperous individuals at around $1.3 million each. The Varen is the first and the only supercar to be developed and constructed with a series configuration that can master any driving scenario at any time. Even 15 years after its launch, the supercar is still setting benchmarks and inspiring emotion and enthusiasm across the globe. Number 9. Koenigsegg Regera. Koenigsegg Regera is a limited production, plug-in hybrid grand touring sports car, manufactured by Swedish automotive manufacturer Koenigsegg. It combines a powerful twin-turbo V8 combustion engine with three electric motors and cutting-edge battery power via new powertrain technology called Koenigsegg Direct Drive. This revolutionary technology removes the traditional gearbox, making the car lighter and more efficient. The Regera has a reported total power output of 1,797 horsepower and a claimed electronically limited top speed of 410 km per hour. It is capable of accelerating to 100 km per hour in just 2.8 seconds and holds the 0 to 400 km per hour acceleration record for a production car with a time of 31.49 seconds, with 1.8 seconds faster than the previous record held by Koenigsegg Agera RS. The Regera's base price is $1,890,000, and it was produced in a limited edition of only 80 units, all of which have been sold. Number 8. SSC Ultimate Aero TT. The SSC Ultimate Aero is a mid-engine sports car that held the title of the fastest production car in the world, according to the Guinness World Records, from 2007 until the introduction of the Bugatti Veyron Super Sport in 2010. It is currently one of only 26 automobile manufacturers in history to have held the record, which is quite impressive. This supercar is designed in such a way that it lacks any electronic driver aids to help power control and offer talented drivers a pure driving experience. The body is entirely made of carbon fiber featuring a flat undertray with twin Venturi tunnels and weighs just under 60 kilograms. Ultimate Aero TT is equipped with a twin turbocharged Corvette V8 engine, pushing out a monstrous 1,287 horsepower, and it can reach to 100 km per hour in just 2.8 seconds. SSC says given a long enough road, they could get the car up to 435 km per hour. If you have a need for speed and can't afford a Bugatti, the Ultimate Aero TT is somewhat of a bargain, as now it can be yours for only $225,000, a significant discount from the initial list price of $740,000. Number 7, 9FFG T9R. The 9FFG T9 is a sports car based loosely on the Porsche 911, built by German tuning company 9FF. One of the major differences from a normal 911 is the positioning of the engine, whilst every 911 throughout Porsche's history has been rear-engined, the GT9 is mid-engine for better weight distribution. The GT9R is a high-performance variant of the GT9, powered by a 4-liter 6-cylinder boxer engine that delivers a total of 1,120 horsepower. The car is capable of reaching 100 km per hour in 2.9 seconds, 300 km per hour is reached in 15.8 seconds, en route to a 414 km per hour, the top speed. 9FF stated that only 150 GT9s would be produced, and only 20 of those would have the most powerful engine. Prices ranged between $195,000 and $700,000, depending on engine and options, with all of them already sold by the time the car was launched in the market. Number 6, Bugatti Chiron. The Bugatti Chiron is a mid-engine two-seater sports car developed and manufactured by French automobile manufacturer Bugatti Automobiles. It is the successor of the already world-record-breaking Baron Super Sport, and it is the fastest, most powerful, and exclusive production super sports car in Bugatti's history. The Chiron carries over the same 8-liter quad-turbocharged W16 engine as the Varen, but modified to produce more power, 1,479 horsepower, and a smoother power band. 
the Chiron's top speed is electronically limited to 420 km per hour due to safety limitations. Simply put, nobody's built a tire that can handle the stress at the top speed the Chiron is capable of achieving. So, how fast can the Chiron go? Nobody knows for sure, but the speedometer goes up to 500 km per hour. The Chiron can accelerate from 0 to 100 km per hour in 2.4 seconds and from 0 to 400 km per hour in 32.6 seconds. So, although, in this classification the Chiron sits below the Varen Super Sport, we're going to dare to say that Chiron is officially faster if it wasn't for the speed limitation. The Chiron costs almost $3 million, making it one of the most expensive cars in the world. Number 5, Bugatti Varen Super Sport. Before Hennessy and Koenigsegg jumped into the top speed fray, Bugatti dominated the world's fastest cars category. Unlike its upstart rivals, Bugatti benefited from the massive cash reserves of its parent company, Volkswagen, which eventually yielded the Bugatti Varen in 2005. Impressive as it was, the Varen was soon trumped by the SSC Ultimate Aero, with its record speed of 412 km per hour. Not to let this happen for too long, Bugatti went back to the drawing board and returned with the Varen Super Sport, a faster, more powerful version of the Bugatti Varen. An impressive 8-liter quad-turbocharged W16 engine with 1,200 horsepower and a slew of aerodynamic improvements helped the Super Sport to a top speed of 431 km per hour on a two-way average clocked at Volkswagen's test track, making it the fastest production road car in the world at the time of its introduction. Out of the initial production run of 30, five cars were named the Super Sport World Record Edition, having the electronic limiter turned off. At the time of its release, the Varen Super Sport was available to buy for $2,700,000, although the actual production cost of the car was apparently around $6,500,000. Number 4, Hennessy Venom GT. The Hennessy Venom GT is a high-performance sports car manufactured by Texas-based Hennessy Performance Engineering. This supercar is an impressive machine, to say the least. Sporting a 7-liter twin-turbo V8 engine, producing a massive 1,244 horsepower, the Venom GT beat a world record set by the Koenigsegg Agera R as being the fastest accelerating production car in the world when it did a run from 0 to 300 km per hour in 13.63 seconds. The Venom reached 435 km per hour at the Kennedy Space Center's 5 km landing strip, but only in one direction. Since both directions are required for a record-holding run, in addition to a production volume of 30 or more cars, the Hennessy doesn't qualify for official record books. But still, the beast has surpassed 435 km per hour, and that's truly impressive. Hennessy also claims the Venom GT can reach a top speed of 447 km per hour, if given a bit more room to do it, so, let's hope they'll find a track long enough. The Venom GT costs $1.2 million without additional options. So far, only 13 Venoms have been sold. Each vehicle is custom built to order and requires six months for completion. Number 3, Koenigsegg 1-1. As sibling of the 2013 Koenigsegg Agera R, the 1-1 effectively raised the bar for performance and was dubbed the world's first megacar, being able to produce a total of 1 megawatt of power. The name 1-1 comes from the power-to-weight ratio, which, as you probably guessed, is 1 to 1. This is the dream equation, previously thought impossible when it comes to fully road-legal and usable sports cars. The car is fitted with a variant of the same 5-liter twin-turbocharged V8 engine used in the other Agera variants, which generates a maximum power output of 1,341 horsepower. It can accelerate from 0 to 100 km per hour in 2.8 seconds and attain a top speed of 439 km per hour. During test sessions, the 1-1 broke six world land speed records for a production car at that time, including 0 to 300 km per hour in 11.92 seconds and 0 to km per hour in 17.95 seconds. It was built in just seven examples with the first being a working prototype. All six production models were sold out before the car even made its official debut, claiming around $2.4 million from the deep pockets of each purchaser. Number 2, Koenigsegg Agera RS. 
The Agera RS is an advanced version of the Agera R, implementing some of the new technology and features of the Koenigsegg 1.1 and combining the features of the Agera R and the Agera S. Koenigsegg built it as the ultimate track tool due to its lightweight features and track-optimized technologies. The Agera RS offers unparalleled levels of performance and guaranteed exclusivity, with only 25 examples being produced. Powered by a 5-liter twin-turbo V8 engine producing 1,341 horsepower, the Agera RS became the world's fastest car on November 2017, when it hit an average speed of 447 km per hour. The record was recorded by the Guinness Book, along with a handful of other benchmarks. The Agera RS made the 0400 km per hour record in 36.44 seconds, 5.56 seconds faster than the record made by the Bugatti Chiron. With so many records on board, it's not a surprise that the original list price of this car is $2.5 million, each car being unique due to customization options available to every owner. Number 1, Bugatti Chiron Super Sport 300 Plus. In August 2019, Bugatti presented a limited production high-performance variant of the Chiron called the Chiron Super Sport 300 Plus. The car's bodywork has been extended and aerodynamically optimized for extremely high-speed performance. The iconic quad-turbo-charged W16 8-liter engine now delivers an output of 1,600 horsepower, exceeding the Chiron by over 100 horsepower. The Chiron Super Sport 300 Plus is capable to accelerate from 0 to 100 km per hour in only 2.1 seconds. On 2 August 2019, a maximum speed of 304.77 miles per hour was achieved during tests in a pre-production prototype. With this record, Bugatti is breaking new ground. Never before has a series manufacturer achieved such a high speed exceeding the magical threshold of 300 miles per hour. That's an impressive achievement for the Bugatti team and demonstrates once again what they are capable of. So, how much do you have to come up with to join the 300 miles per hour club? The short answer is $5.2 million. Only 30 Super Sport 300 Plus will be produced and as you might have expected, there's plenty of interest around.